Welcome to today's edition of the Exploring Mining Podcast, featuring stock news from TSX, TSXV, CSE, ASX, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange mining companies, plus interviews with CEOs and leading experts. Hello everyone, this is Sam Mowers here. Welcome to the latest episode of the Exploring Mining Podcast. For news today, we've got the latest from Getchell Gold Corp., Rio Tinto Group, Barrick Gold, and Japan Gold. Just before we get into the news, though, a quick reminder for you that if you enjoy this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And as always, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts here on InvestRadius.com. This includes the Cannabis Podcast, the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, along with many others, all of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so Getchell Gold Corp., which trades on the CSE under the ticker symbol GTCH and on the OTCQB as GGLDF, has received authorization from the U.S. Bureau of Land Management to construct an additional 12 drill pads as part of its planned 2023 drill program to expand the mineral resource at the Fondaway Canyon Gold Project. The Fondaway Canyon Gold Project boasts a large at and near surface mineral resource estimate, reporting an inferred mineral resource of 38.3 million tons at an average grade of 1.23 grams per ton gold, for 1,509,100 ounces of gold. Mike Sieb, the president and director of the company, said, quote, Having released a continuous series of exceptional drill results in batches over the last three years, it is important to step back and weigh the potential of the Fondaway Canyon project as a whole. What becomes immediately obvious is the strong and prevalent gold mineralization encountered in the most peripheral drill holes, signifying a robust mineralization system that is yet to be truly tested. This causes us to seriously wonder how big it can be, and the authorization for an additional 12 drill pads will enable us to conduct step-out drilling and start to answer that question. End quote. Stock for Getchell Gold? Trading on the CSE is down 14.63% at the time of recording, and on the OTCQB is down 9.94% at the time of recording. Moving along, Rio Tinto Group, trading on the NYSE under the ticker symbol RIO, has signed a multi-year supply agreement with industrial startup H2 Green Steel, for high-grade direct reduction iron ore pellets from Rio Tinto's Iron Ore Company of Canada, or IOC, operations. According to the press release, Rio Tinto will also purchase and on-sell a part of the surplus low-carbon hot briquetted iron produced by H2 Green Steel during the ramp-up of its steel-making capacity. Simon Ferry, Rio Tinto's head of steel decarbonization, explained, quote, We are partnering across the steel ecosystem to find better ways to support the decarbonization of iron and steel making and to reduce our scope 3 emissions. Our supply of high-grade iron ore pellets will support the acceleration of H2 Green Steel's project and on selling their low-carbon HBI will enable us to gain a deeper understanding of the future needs of our customers and end users in the emerging green iron and steel market. End quote. Stock for Rio is up 0.29% at the time of recording. Next up, Barrick Gold Corporation, which trades on the NYSE under the ticker symbol GOLD, has announced that it is on target to meet its gold and copper production guidance for 2023. The company's CEO, Mark Bristow, indicated that improved production performances from the Carlin Complex in Nevada, the Kabali Gold Mine in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and the, the Lumwana Copper Mine in Zambia, have all positioned Barrick's second half to outperform its first this year. Bristow explained, quote, Our asset base is the best in the business, and it gives us a platform from which we can clearly see and plan for the future, managing the challenges and maximizing the opportunities. At the halfway mark of this year, 
we've again advanced significantly towards our goal of building the world's most valued gold and copper mining company, and we have the strategy, the means, and the motivation to achieve that. End quote. Stock for Barrick is down 0.27% at the time of recording. Lastly for today, Japan Gold Corp, which trades on the TSXV under the ticker JG, has announced that the Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry has accepted 22 of its new prospecting rights applications comprising the North Teo project. The project comprises 7,009 hectares of prospective ground located immediately along the strike of the Teo mine, which is Middle Kyushu's largest gold deposit. The Middle Kyushu Epithermal Gold Province, according to the press release, hosts three significant gold mines, the Teo, Bajo, and Hoshino group of mines, along with numerous other smaller historical workings and mineral showings. Finally, just a quick disclaimer that Getchell Gold Corp. is a paid-for service on InvestorIdeas.com. Well, that does it for today's Exploring Mining podcast. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. InvestorIdeas.com reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. All investment involves risk, and this podcast is not meant to be an endorsement to buy or sell securities or products. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and most audio platforms available.